Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to deploy a Team Rooms on Windows device with no hands using autopilot and auto login. Let's go check it out. Welcome to a new episode of Teams and Rooms Tech Talk. My name is Michel Baumann. I work as the Solution Specialist Lead for Teams and Devices at Microsoft. And today I'm going to show, be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can deploy a Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows device using autopilot and auto login. Now, if you are an IT partner that is very familiar with deploying laptops and desktops, you are probably already very familiar with Autopilot as well. However, if you are a Pro AV Microsoft partner, this might be completely new. So this guide is for you. Although I must say, even for the IT partners, we have a few little things that you might wanna do differently. Before we get into the guide, let me give a huge shout out to my guy, Andrew Higgs from Microsoft APAC, who wrote a very extensive guide as part of his Train24 program that we'll be able to share with you soon. So let's jump in. First step we're gonna take is we're gonna create a dynamic device group and pay special attention to the query that we're leveraging. We'll also post that in the description below. Uh, we're gonna start at intune.microsoft.com. Make sure you're on the home page. select groups. Make sure all groups is selected and then add a new group. So we're gonna give this group a, a name. Um, make sure security is, uh, is selected here uh, for the group description. You can add a description if you, uh, if you want to. For the intro roles, make sure you select no. And then for the device type, but this is an important one, make sure you select dynamic device. Uh, owners, you can, uh, you can ignore. Um, and then for the uh, device group, we're going to add a dynamic query. Make sure configure rules is selected here on the uh, uh, on the top, and then we're going to add a expression. Uh, the rule syntax can be put directly here in the uh, in the menu by clicking edit, which is what we're going to do now. And then we're going to uh, copy and paste the following syntax here in the uh, in the rule syntax. Again, we'll post all of this in the description below for you to copy and to uh, to paste. Then we're gonna select save and we're gonna hit create. So the next step we need to take is we need to enable Windows automatic enrollment into Intune. And this can be done via the Intune admin manager or via the uh, Azure admin portal. And we're gonna stay here at intune.microsoft.com. We're gonna come to the left, we're gonna select devices. And then under overview, we're gonna select Windows. So now we're gonna select Windows enrollment and we are going to select automatic enrollment. In the configure page that opens up here next to the MDM user scope, uh, we're gonna select some, you could select all if you uh, if you wanted to or none, that's also a, an option. Uh, and we're gonna select a, a group. Now, of course, for this group, we're gonna search for that new group that we just created, uh, which was this one, and we're gonna hit select. Once we've selected uh, the uh, the group, we can save it here on the uh, on the top left. And that was step two, which means we can now jump into step three. So next step we're going to take is we are going to create an uh, enrollment status page profile or ESP. Uh, we use this to display progress and current status while the device is being set up and enrolled through the automatic uh, autopilot process. So this is just to see uh, where we currently are in terms of the deployment. So we are at intune.microsoft.com again. We're gonna select home, select devices, select windows, select windows enrollment. And then we scroll down and we find the enrollment status page. So let's create a new status page. As you see, there's already a couple of status pages here that we used for prior deployments. Uh, you can always leverage those if you have them. Otherwise, we're gonna create a new one here. So on the basics, make sure you give the profile a name. Uh, you don't have to do a description. You can, if you want to, we're gonna hit next. Under settings, make sure you toggle yes. So you can select certain things that you would like to select or deselect. In this case, we're gonna keep that as is. We're gonna select next and then under assignment, and you've seen this before, uh, we're gonna add a, a group. So we're gonna find the MTRW group again and we're gonna hit select. Next, we're gonna look at the uh, at the uh, uh, scope text. We're gonna ignore this, by the way. Hit next, we're gonna review the page. 
So under review and create, we can review all the settings that we just picked. Uh, you can copy this if you uh, if you want to. Uh, but after you're done, you can go ahead and clear click click create, and we have a new profile page set up under here. So step four, we're going to create an autopilot profile and we are almost at the halfway point. That's how fast things are going. Uh, again, we're going to come to Intune. We're going to select devices, select Windows, Windows enrollment, and then we're going to search for deployment profiles. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a, uh, a profile. So we're going to create a new profile. We're going to create a uh, Windows PC under basics. Uh, we're going to name the um uh, we're going to name the profile autopilot we could put a description here if we uh, if we wanted to and then we are going to select next under the out of box experience we're going to make a few changes so first change that we're going to make is we're going to change this from user driven to self deploying because that's what we want and as you can see, a couple of the options are now grayed out, which is uh, which is fine. One change we are going to make is under apply device name template. We're going to select yes. And I do have a template that is here. So what is going to happen is the autopilot will automatically rename the computer name, in this case, to MTR and then the serial number. Let's select next. Of course, we're going to include the group that we just uh, created, so MTR select the group hit select again and then we're going to click next and then under review and create we again can review all the stuff that we just set up so let's hit create and let's jump into the next step so before we get into the next step i wanted to let you know that this is also a great time to create and assign a local administrator password solution policy or labs so for teams rooms it's highly recommended to create and assign a labs policy as a good security practice as a matter of fact in many companies it might also be required now i'm not going to do that for this video we'll post a new video in the next couple of days that'll show you exactly how you can create and assign this lab policy for now, we're going to focus on the next step, meaning we're going to deploy the Teams Rooms app, the update tool, to make sure that everything is up to date on your first start. So let's jump back to the tutorial. Okay, so now it's time to deploy the Teams Rooms app update tool. So the update tool will update the Teams Rooms app running on a device to a version that is autopilot and auto logging capable. Uh, the update tool needs to be downloaded and uploaded to your Intune instance and then deployed to the Teams Rooms device. We're posting the link in the description below. So in Intune, we're going to come down to Apps. By Platform, select Windows. And we're going to add an app. Add app. App type, Win32. And we're going to select. Next, we're going to select the app package file. In my case, my app package file is on my desktop. And we're going to hit OK. Now you have the name, the description for publisher, put Microsoft. And then we're going to select Next. Under Program, we're going to select Next. And then under Requirement, we are going to make a few changes. So for the operating system, we're going to select 32 and 64-bit. And the minimum OS is Windows 10 21H2. Under the detection rules, we're going to select manually configure and we're going to select add. Under the rule type, we'll select MSI and the MSI product code should autofill right here. For the version check, uh, we can uh, keep no toggled on and then we're going to hit OK. And we're going to move to the next steps, which is dependencies, select next, select next. And then under assignment, and again, we've seen this before, we're going to add our MTR group. MTR, autopilot, and this is the group we created in step one. Next, we're going to hit next. We're going to review and create, and we're going to hit create. Now, we're almost there. Really, we have one more step left. But before we do that, this is also the opportunity to upload the Skype settings.xml deployment script. So applying Teams Rooms configurations via autopilot is very much possible by leveraging PowerShell. And when you import these into Intune, autopilot will execute the PowerShell script 
during the out-of-box experience, meaning you can deploy the Skype settings.xml file and maybe even things like a custom image for the background, etc. Etc. We're not going to cover that in the video today. We'll post that video in the next couple of days or weeks, but keep that in mind. Now, it's also important to know that the devices need to be connected to the customer's tenant. So the OEM manufacturer provisions into the customer's tenant directly or the OEM or distributor can provide a list of hardware hashes for the customer to then manually upload, uh, but without any gathering uh, steps. If you want to have more information on this, please contact your OEM manufacturer or your distributor. But for now, let's jump into the final step. So now we're going to upload the hash. We're going to select devices, windows, devices enrollment or windows enrollment. And we're going to select devices and we're going to select import. Select and we're going to find the hash file and then upload it. And once you select it, we're going to select import. So after importing, it will take about five minutes before the device will be visible inside of Intune's autopilot device page. And we have to wait about five to 10 minutes. What we are looking for is the initially the profile status will show not assigned, then move to pending. And then once it's showing assigned, that's when we're ready to go to the next step. So now that the profile status has switched to assigned, it's time to go to the final step. And for that, we need to go to the pro management portal. So we browse to portal.rooms.microsoft.com. By the way, you need at least one pro license in your organization. We're going to under planning, we're going to look for autopilot devices, select the device, and then we're going to assign an account. Select next. We're going to find the account we want to attach the device to. In this case, we're going to select this one, select next. And then we have two options. One automatically generate a password for selected accounts or use an existing password. Now, if you want to keep everything as anonymous as possible, uh, we'll automatically generate select next. Once this is done, you can download the CSV file with the password. If you wanted to select done and that's it. So all the preparation for autopilot and auto login are now done. Make sure you set up the device, make sure it has power and is connected to the internet. Simply boot up the device and then watch magic happen. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was useful. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode. Take care.